Hey guys, I'm back for another tutorial, and in this one we're going to be working the a dish, a dish, a wash rag, <laughs> you can't speak, and a matching dish towel. Now in the video I make the wash rag with you guys, and if you want to make the um, dish towel, all you got to do is chain 65 and work the exact same pattern. I say that in the video, but the dish towel measures... Uh, uh, about 14 inches from side to side and 20 inches from top to bottom. The wash rag is, I think it's about six by seven or yeah, seven. by about six and three quarters. But anyway, for this project, I use Village Yarn Craft Cotton, a four weight cotton. There's 400, or I mean 743 yards in this, and this is what I have left after working the wash rag and the dish towel. So if I had to guess, I'd say you guys are probably gonna need about 400 yards, I'd say. But I got that from um, Hirschner's. And the hook I used doo -doo -doo, is a five millimeter. I don't know if you guys. There. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with a chain of 33. Get our slip knot on the hook. We're going to start with 33. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alrighty, so once you get your chain of 33, we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, double crochet into that. And then we're just going to double crochet all across. So go ahead and work that, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got one to do in the last two. And the last one. All right, so now you should have 30 doubles and then the chain three. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna turn, and into that first stitch right here, we're gonna work a half double crochet. So go right in there and work a half double. Now we're going to front post double crochet around the next two doubles. So in and around. There's one. Go around the next. There's two. Now we're going to back post around the next. So we're going to bring it, oop, I bumped my camera. So now we're going to bring it in from this side, out, grab your loop, pull it up, and work your double. So we have two front, one back. All right, so now around the next three, we're going to work front posts. One, two, three. Now we're going to work one back post around the next. Let's go in, pull up. 
pull it to the front. And there you go. So now three back posts, or I mean front posts. One. Two. Three. Back post around the next, right there. After you get past this round, working these back posts do get a little bit better or easier. Pull up. There you go. Now three front posts. Lost that one. One. Two. Three. And our back post around the next. Three front post. Dang it. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. Just, I'm just going to stick with you. All right, so we did our three front posts. Now we're going to work our back posts around the next. Three front posts. One. Two, three, our front post, or back post, three front post, one, two, and three. Our one back post, and now we're going to work two front posts, because if you look, we have two double crochets left, and then our chain. So we're going to work, we're going to finish this the way we started, with the half double in the first, and then two front posts. So we're gonna work the two front posts. One. Two. And in the top of our chain, we're gonna work the half double. So we have one, two, three, Yarn over, go in there, and work your half double. And that's the last time we're going to be working into a chain. All right, so there's round two. So for round three, we're going to chain one, turn. We're going to double crochet into the top of that half double we just made. We're going to double crochet into the next two. We're going to front post around what was our back post from the last round. So go right around there. We're going to double crochet into the next three and make sure you're skipping the back of that this one right here or your stitch counts gonna be off so double into the next three one two three front post around your back post from the previous row 
and we're just going to keep doing that double crochet into the next three two three front post around this one double into the next three one two three front post around what was our back post double into the next three one two three front post around your back post double in your next three since we're so close to the end I'm just gonna stick with you two and three front post around what was our back one double crochet in the next three one two three front post around your back and then we're going to double crochet in the last three stitches one uh, two and three. So there's row three. <coughs> Excuse me. So the repeat is going to be rounds two and three. So round two, chain one, and we're going to turn. We're going to half double in the first stitch. All three. Front post around the next two. One, two. So our next stitch is um, the front post from the previous round, but since we turned it around, it looks like a back post now. So we're gonna back post around that. Front post around the next three. So these, so the this is the back of the wash rag. Let me get these three done real quick. Two, three. So this is the back of our wash rag. But when we turn it around, those front posts and back posts all just make you know when the wash rag sitting the right side facing us, all of the back and front posts make just one continuous front post. And then the front post we work when we're working this round two, these front posts turn into back posts and then pulls that the top of the stitch forward, making it look like you slip stitch it across right there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, back to where I was. Okay. So we did our three front posts. Now we're working our back posts around the next stitch. Bring your yarn hook to the back, go in on the right, out on the left, grab your loop, pull straight through and finish your yoke. Front post around the next three. One. two and three I keep splitting my arm there three we have our back post front post around the next three one two three Back pow back boop blah, 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 blah. <laughs> back post around the next three front posts two three. 
three. Front post, back post, I mean, around the next. One, three front posts. One, two, three. Back post. Three front. One, two, three. Next is our back post. We have three stitches left, so the first two gets the front post. One, two, and then it's kind of rolled a little bit, so you're going to have to turn to see right here. So we're going to half double crochet into the last. Okay. So now I'm going to repeat round three with you. And that's it. It's just two and three, two and three. And I'll come back and let you guys know how many I did. But Okay, so for round three, double crochet in your very first. One, double crochet in the next two, two, okay, now we front post around our post right here, double crochet into the next three, three front post around our post continuing that up double crochet into the next three one two three work our post double on the next three Post, double in the next three, our post, next three, Work our post. Ah, split the yarn. Start that over. Post around this. Double in the next three. One. Two. Three. Work our post. And double in the last three. One. Two. And the last one. Three. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so repeat rounds two and three, and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know how many rounds I repeated. Okay guys, I'm back, and I repeated rounds two and three until I have a total of 15 rounds. And I ended with uh, row three, so it's a nice straight edge. And that's it. It measures about seven by seven. Yeah, seven by seven. So I'm going to do, fasten it off, chain one, 
pull up a loop with enough to leave me a tail to weave in. Oh, I dropped my hook. Snip that. And there we go. Weave in your ends and you're done. Now for the dish towel, I am going to start... Oh, I got to get my hook. <laughs> okay, so for the... If you guys want to make the matching um, uh, dish rag or kitchen towel, whatever you want to call it, I want you guys to chain 65 and work the pattern exactly the same as the wash rag. Um, so for your stitch count on the wash rag, you came up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven posts. And on the dish towel or the kitchen towel, you're going to come up with, um, yeah, you should have a total of 15 posts across. And that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.